guys hope that everybody's doing great we are gonna continue our little vlog thing that we have going on um at the moment because i've been really enjoying vlogging it's actually pretty fun um i just wanted to come in here and share a little bit of yesterday i didn't really vlog yesterday um i had my first little outing since surgery yesterday i went out with my sister for a little bit and i also had my first doctor's appointment after surgery yesterday and yeah it didn't go as good as i thought it was gonna go so apparently i am healing a lot slower than i'm supposed to and i'm healing a lot slower than the last time i had surgery because i am now officially in menopause since i at this point have had a full hysterectomy <laughs> um so i am in menopause at the moment which brings a whole lot of other issues for me um when I had the surgery this time, I thought that, you know, I went into the surgery thinking that everything was going to be better, that I was going to feel better, and that life was going to be better from now on. But, no. <laughs> it's actually going to get a lot harder. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. Just because I... <sighs> I'm just so frustrated. I'm so frustrated to be in this state of pain, in this state of medical things. I'm just so frustrated. But, you know, I keep telling myself and I keep thinking, you know, it could be worse. There's a lot worse things going on in the world at the moment. And there's a lot worse things that people are going through at the moment. So, you know, I should just take my situation one day at a time, which is what I'm going to do. But, yeah. There's going to be a lot of things that I have to do with my life now. A lot, a lot of, like, little changes here and there. And it's also going to be a little bit tougher now in my health journey as well. I didn't know all of the things that came with you know, having hysterectomy and going into menopause at such an, uh, a young age. Um, but I'm gonna get through this. You know, I've gone through a lot in my life and I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep pushing forward like I always do. Anyways, um, first step into my recovery, I have to start these patches for now. This is what they're called. This is what the doctor sent. I trust my doctor. I've been with her for many years. Um, she was the only one who believed me when I was going through all my stuff at the very beginning after visiting I don't even remember how many awful doctors she was the only one who actually believed me and did all the testing and all the things to figure out what was going on with me and and she got me where I am now so I appreciate her and I trust her and I trust her judgment um, so she sent these for now, but she doesn't want me to stay on these for very long. Um, so she did send a different plan that she has for me, but I have to do a lot of research for that plan. And it's also a very expensive plan that my insurance, or any insurance, doesn't cover. So... Um, that's probably one of the things that I'm going to be doing today is just getting research on that. But for now, I'm going to start this little patch because 
this little patch is supposed to help me with hormones and it's supposed to help me um, heal faster than I'm healing. Um, so yeah, this is going to be day one of the, the, this little patch. I'm supposed to change it, I believe, twice a week. Yeah, so it's one pouch twice a week. And I'm supposed to put it in a clean, dry, hair-free area of the skin. I did some research yesterday and there's a lot of mixed reviews on it. Some people say it's the best thing, other people don't like it. So I guess I'm just gonna judge for myself, right? The biggest complaint that I saw for this particular um, for this particular brand, which is the Sandal Sandals was that people keep saying that it falls off very easily i'm hoping that's not the case i'm hoping that it'll stick some people said that they didn't have any problem with it falling at all so hopefully hopefully the fact that i have very dry skin will make this patch stay <laughs> so let's see what it is so when i open it it looks like this and it has this huge pamphlet. But I, like I said, I did a lot of research yesterday. I read a lot of things about it. I know the reason why my doctor doesn't want me to stay on it is because of dangers when it comes to like cancer and things like that. So now that I'm in a full menopause, I am more prone to breast cancer. So yay for me. Um, but yeah, so this is what the patch looks like. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like, like a little dot, like a little small thing, but it's not. So, where am I going to put this? They say to try and put it in a place where, um, you know, your clothes or things like that won't make it fall off. I'm thinking if I should put it in my arm. They said the back or like the waist, it's not a good place to put it. Let me just put it on my chest, I don't think I want it so close to my boobs. I don't, I don't know where to put it. I think I'm just gonna put it in my arm. And then I can put, like when I change this patch, so today is Wednesday, when I change this patch either Saturday or Sunday, um, I can't put it in the same place. So if I put it here today, I will have to put it here the next time. So, and then I have to allow seven days for this area before I put another patch. So yeah, it's it's really weird. But yeah, this is estra estradiol transdermal system and the 0.1 milligrams a day. So yeah, like I said, I'm just, I think I'm going to put it in my arm, so that will require me to take off my shirt. This is what the patch looks like, it's clear. I thought it was going to be like skin tone for some reason, I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> but I'm just going to peel it. It's like a band-aid, you peel it on both sides. Has to press down for 10 seconds. And there it is. And it blasts into my skin. It's a little shiny, but <laughs> it's okay. Well, I'm listening. I am. I just took a shower because you have to have clean skin to put that patch on. So I just took a shower and I'm gonna go downstairs and have some breakfast. Um, like I said, I had my little outing yesterday and I was feeling a little brave because I was 
feeling a little bit better than I have and my sister because my sister came to um my sister came to drive me to my doctor's appointment so um she spent the day with me yesterday because she came picked up my mom took her to work uh I left with them so we went and dropped off my mom and we went and dropped off my mom at work um so we all work for Disney World <laughs> um my entire family works for Disney World so we went and dropped my mom off at work and then my sister and I went to Cast Connections which Cast Connections is a Disney cast member um, store where they sell a lot of merchandise at special discount for cast members. So my sister and I went to see what they had. Um, and my sister goes to it more than I do because she works close to it. I work in a completely different area, like far away from Disney, um, so it's not that easy for me to get to it. Um, I have to like take a day and go, <laughs> um, and then the hours of operation too don't work really with my schedule, so I have a harder time going, so I was excited to go with her, so we did that, we went, I got some stuff, I'll show you guys in a minute, um, but yeah, I got some stuff, and then we went to um, have some breakfast we went to denny's to have some breakfast i was really craving some like waffles or pancakes or something um so we did that and then we went to target because i needed to get some stuff she needed to get some stuff and um we actually went to target specifically to try and find all the sailor moon stuff that target is supposed to be carrying but we only found one thing which i'll show you guys too but um he doesn't have to do the other one on here. And then um, she needed some toner and some other stuff. Um, and I told her that like Marshalls and TJ Maxx was the best place to get that sort of thing. So there's some uh, Marshalls next to our Target. So we went there and then we went back to my house. We came back here to my house and we came for like about an hour, an hour and a half. And then we had to leave again to go to my doctor's appointment. Um, and then we had to go and pick up my mom. And then we went back to Target to pick up my, my patches. And then we got some dinner and then we came home. And um, yeah, story short, story time short, I am not feeling that great. I think I pushed myself too hard yesterday, so I am in a lot of pain. I started to feel like I was in a lot of pain by the t second time we went to Target. Like when I had to go and pick up my medicines, that's when I um, started to not feel that great. I started to get a lot of pain. I couldn't really walk that well. So we were supposed to go to Chili's to have dinner, which I was so excited because I was so hungry. But we ended up getting Chipotle because I just, I didn't have the energy to go sit at Chili's. So that was a bummer. Um, so today I'm not feeling the greatest, so I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm just gonna have some cereal and, um, yeah, I'm probably, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna sit in my sofa for the rest of the day just because I'm supposed to be resting and I just don't have the energy to do anything. I got bold and I'm paying for it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. Um, we are supposed to go to the movies tomorrow to watch Batman. Um, we were gonna, we were gonna go to Disney Springs to watch Batman, but I just don't think that I have the energy to walk from the parking lot to the theater. So I think we're gonna go to a different theater um, that we know of. It's this theater is such a cute little theater where um, my son's space daycare is. Um, and yeah i love this theater so it's like it's like right there from the parking lot so i don't have to do a lot of walking and then the sit the seats can lean back and like you can put your feet up and they actually have like little pillows it's really cute so i think i'm gonna tell my family if we can do that instead just because i don't have the energy to walk at disney springs 
but yeah i also want to show you guys my outfit because it's so cute i hauled it in my last vlog when i showed you guys what i got at forever 21 um it's so cute so adorable so let me show you what it looks like so you guys don't mind my dirty mirror but <laughs> this is what the outfit looks like it's so stinking cute i don't wear shorts outside the house <laughs> i don't like my legs i've never i've never had so i don't like to wear shorts but um i do like to wear shorts in the house but this little outfit is so stinking cute even the little sweater that is cropped so adorable so freaking cute i love it as you guys can see my stomach is still very very swollen from surgery and my incisions i have a lot of stretch marks from having my kids you guys so no judging but my incisions are healing really nicely according to my doctor i have one on my belly button too this is the one that's hurting the most at the moment is the one on my belly button but yeah my i have to keep everything i wear like super high up just so it doesn't press on my incisions because they still hurt but as you guys can see my stomach is still very 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 swollen and it's a little hard and it hurts a little today so i'm gonna be kind to my stomach and i'm just gonna go and lay down in my sofa but you guys i still have my abs don't be fooled by my swollen stomach i still have my abs <laughs> they're still there they haven't gone anywhere so so yeah i just thought i'd show you guys this cute little outfit because this seriously is so super cute and it even has a pocket with a zipper in the back so stinking cute i love this little outfit i would recommend it 10 out of 10 love it here's my little baby she's always with me right my baby oh my goodness i love you so much i love you so much no, no. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. So let me show you guys what I bought at the stores yesterday. So like I told you guys, um, my sister and I, we went to Cast Connections, which is the Disney store. And I found some really cute stuff. And I love to go every once in a while because you don't always find... The same stuff like they always have new stuff so i got these cute little ears and they're for christmas but they're so stinking adorable they have a daisy donald mickey pluto goofy and they have the chipmunks <laughs> i love the chipmunks they're so freaking cute they're adorable they have mini up there they're so cute so adorable so i got ears i want to start getting into like ears i only have one pair of ears and it's from up which is like my all-time favorite disney movie ever um and then i found this which i was so excited because disney itself doesn't really sell candles but they just started selling candles recently and they have like all these different themed candles like um they have like a marie <laughs> They have like a marie they have like haunted mansion they have some really cool candles that i want to go check out even though they're a little pricey they're like 30 dollars but they have this one at cast connections and it's so freaking cute it's halloween of course so i'm gonna save it for halloween but it's adorable it's a candle it smells really good it smells like pumpkin spice but it has vanilla in there and it used to be $20 and I got it for $7.99. So such a good deal. And then my favorite, my favorite fan finds of all time is this cute little shirt. So Disney came out with this um collection for food and wine. And it's so freaking so freaking cute. Let me show you guys what it looks like because it's adorable so this is what it looks like it's so cute it has a mickey and minnie and they're like in this little like um what do you call it they're like in a little picnic <laughs> and it's apple orchid 
Food and Wine 2021 and it's just so adorable and it's like this really pretty like army green color and it has a frame and it's just so cute and I love to wear these shirts with like jeans and leggings and just like a cute little white or black top underneath and I just love these types of shirts I got it in an extra large I got it in an extra large so it can be nice and comfy and it was $25.99 from $49.99 and it says Epcot International Festival of Food and Wine love it I did go to that food and wine but I don't remember seeing this specific line in Disney I just saw it at Cast Connections one day and I was like oh my gosh so cute they also have ears and the ears are like apple themed they're so adorable I'm trying to find them um, they did have them at Cast Connections at one point but I didn't I didn't grab them on time and this time that I went they were all sold out but I think they still have them at the outlets so I might try to go sometime when I feel better and see if I can find those ears. There's another baby that just walked in. <laughs> this is Ash. It's okay, Luna. It's okay. Luna and Ash don't really get along. <laughs> it's more it's, it's more so Luna. She doesn't really like to share her space. It's okay. It's okay. So, I'm going to show you guys what I got at Target, and I also got something at Marshall's. <laughs> oh, there's another baby. It's a party in here. Hi, Olivia. Oh, my goodness. There's the baby. I love her. So, it's a party in my room. Let's hope it doesn't turn into a massacre in here. <laughs> Um, my cats usually have to be separated. Um, I mean, I let them around the house room roaming free, but um, they're usually like all in different parts of the house, not really all together. <laughs> so, yep, party. But anyway, so at Marshall's, I only got two things. I got this hair towel. I've heard that drying your hair with like a t-shirt type of thing it's better than like an actual towel it's better for like freeze and all that it's more gentle so this one is like a t-shirt towel so i'm gonna try that and i got it for 4.99 and then the, oh, the last thing that i got for marshall's was in this kitchen silicone sponge holder i don't really have anything that holds my sponge so i got this and it was only $2.99, so that's everything I got at Marshall's. Um, then at Target, um, my daughter got some nails. She loves these from Kiss. And I was cold last night, and we were going to go to Chili's. And I didn't have a sweater with me, so I bought this one. But we ended up not going to Chili's, so I didn't use it. But it's super cute. It's from ACDC. I don't really listen to their music at all, but I needed a sweater and this one was on sale for $8.99. So, but I ended up not using it, so I don't know. I might return it. Not sure. Um, and then on the earlier trip with my sister, I got... I found the hair strainer on the dollar spot section, so it was $5. I'm going to try it and see if it works because sometimes I have like little baby hairs that won't stay and instead of just turning on my big one, I can just use that tiny one. <laughs> There's no need for the big one. And then I was really craving Cheetos, so I got these. These are the Simply Cheetos White Cutter. Um, and I also got two tree cut products because I'm obsessed. Um, so I got the scrub, the Tropical Glow or the Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. So if you guys saw my last vlog, I hauled the, the Buddy Butter from the same um, scent. So I got the scrub to go with the Buddy Butter. 
and then I got this butter butter which is the watermelon whipped chia butter buddy butter <laughs> I have the scrub for this one so I wanted to get the um the buddy butter to go with it so that's that and then the <clears throat> And then the only thing that my sister and I were able to find from Sailor Moon was a pair of shorts. So these are it. We also found a t-shirt, but um, we didn't really like the t-shirt. And I don't really like women's tees. I prefer just regular tees. So this is the only pair of shorts that I was able to find. And so I got mine in an extra large for comfort. And also because the large looked really small. So we got that and then my sister got hers. And that was the only thing that we were able to find from Sailor Moon. So I don't know where all of these Sailor Moon things that people have been finding are at. Because I haven't found anything. So another fun little thing that comes with my situation at the moment with... Um, going into menopause early is not being able to sleep so I didn't know that that was the reason why I was having such a hard time sleeping until my doctor's appointment yesterday so I got some sleeping pills also from Target and I got these these are the nature's bounty sleep and I've seen commercials on these how it has the three the three different layers um, the first layer is the calming effect, the second is to fall asleep faster, the third is long lasting sleep. And I was like, let me try this one and see if it works. I sometimes, I don't really have problems sleeping, um, or I didn't in the past have problems sleeping, but every once in a while, you know, I would. Um, so I would drink melatonin, and that usually worked pretty well for me, or I also drink sleepy time tea which also works pretty good for me but they just haven't been they just hadn't been working as good as i wanted them to so i decided to get some new pills i got these treader last night and they work <laughs> they work really nicely they work very very nicely i actually had a hard time waking up this morning i kind of had to force myself up i just i didn't want to be in bed all day plus being in bed all day it's not good for my back either so I'm not trying to add that pain on top of the one that I have right now so yeah that is that that is what I did yesterday I messed myself up so I'm just gonna go downstairs have some breakfast and chill on the sofa for probably the rest of the day so if something comes up if something exciting happens I will come in here and vlog if not I will continue to vlog at some other time Hey guys, it's actually the next day. Um, I just didn't really have anything exciting to keep vlogging about, so I just I left it like that, and I was like, I'll just continue the vlog tomorrow. <laughs> I do have a couple of things to do today. Uh, I'm still not feeling the greatest. I actually got super super tired as I was getting dressed because I just took a shower, and I got so tired. <laughs> that I just I was like halfway dressed and I just had to sit down because I just I was so out of breath um so I'm still not 100% but I um I did start driving so I, I took my first drive yesterday and it was fine so I'm gonna go when Emily gets home from school I'm gonna pick her up at the bus stop and I'm gonna take her to TJ Maxx because she needs to get a gift for a friend and then I'm gonna stop at Walmart because I want to start making myself smoothies again. Um, so I need to get some like vegetables and some um, fruits. The reason why I have stopped making smoothies, because I used to drink a smoothie for dinner every single night. The reason why I stopped is because it gives me like the worst heartburn. Like the worst, I already have like really, really bad heartburn from my pregnancies and it's so bad that i had to get medication for it because it's that bad and the smoothies make it worse so i'm thinking that i'm gonna try to make my smoothies with milk instead of water and see if maybe that works um i'm just gonna have to play around with the smoothies and see what works for me so i'm just gonna go and get some stuff for that and then I'm actually going to go to the movies with my family tonight. We're going to go watch Batman because I 
love Robert Pattinson. He's so hot. <laughs> I love him so much since Twilight. Like, he is just so handsome and he looks like he's a really nice guy so i'm gonna go support him and i'm gonna go watch batman it's a very long movie but i'm gonna go to this theater that the seats are very comfortable like you can lean back and put your feet up and stuff so i'm hoping that i'm gonna be okay but i'm excited because i'm tired of being home so i'm gonna slowly start you know getting myself back together so First things first, I'm going to clean all the mess that I have here so I can do somewhat of a natural makeup. I'm kind of feeling it. I did my makeup for, I did my mom's makeup <laughs> a little bit ago because she was going to go to do a work thing. Um, she, today is her day off, but she had like a little work party and stuff, so I did her makeup. So I need to clean this mess that I have here. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do my makeup and wait for Emily to come home. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I showed you guys, I um, can't remember if it's in this vlog or in the last vlog, that I bought the little hair strainer from Target, from the Target dollar spot. I'm gonna try it and see if it works. It's time to wash my hair, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. I'm just gonna use a little bit of drying shampoo this smells so good this is from not your mother's and it's orange mango and it smells just like mangoes so good So we're gonna use that little hair strainer and see if it works. I have it right here. It is hot. <laughs> so let's see. It's really hot to the touch. It's gonna burn my fingers when I get too close to where the blades are. Okay, it seems to be working really nicely actually. I mean, I will only use it for like what I'm doing right now, which is like taking the crease off the ponytail of my hair. Or for like, like my baby hairs right here. I couldn't straighten my whole hair with this. <laughs> Just for like detail work. Or if you have bangs, this would be perfect if you have bangs. But it's doing a good job so far. Okay, seems to have done the job. Like I said, I wouldn't be able to like straighten my entire hair with it, but for like little detailed work like what I just did, it's perfect and it's so small like for traveling. I would definitely take it for traveling. So, I liked it. I liked it so far. I'm trying to figure out where my earrings are. I thought I had them here, but I don't see them. Sometimes my child takes my stuff and 
If you're a mom of a teenage girl, you understand my frustration. I already put the odor on Tom, but I'm going to put a little bit more. This is the one that I enjoy is the Bam in Powder Fresh. It's invisible. It's the liquid one, but it's so good. It dries pretty fast. It doesn't stain my clothes. It doesn't leave any white cast on my clothes. I very much like it. And then I love Cherry Merlot from Bath & Body Works. It is one of my favorite scents. so much and that is it i'm gonna wait for emily to come home so that we can go to the store and do the stuff that we need to do and yeah